Now, let's do some exercises to test our knowledge. So, the first exercise is to answer the questions which have been given to us. You can read the questions, pause the video and write the answers and then cross check the answers if it's correct or not. See, the first question was economy made to serve the interest of rulers is known as what? Then you have to give one reason for agricultural stagnation in British era. The third question is, you need to tell us the main causes of India's agriculture stagnation during the colonial period. Let's see the answers. See, the colonial economy is the economy which is made to serve the interest of the rulers. Okay. System of land settlement which we discussed was one of the reasons for agricultural stagnation. The main causes of agriculture stagnation during the colonial period was land revenue system which we discussed, okay, lack of resources and commercialization of agriculture. Now let's see the second question, again we have to answer the questions given here. See, we have been asked to mention the type of cotton textile having origin in Bengal. Then we have been asked why the traditional handicraft declined during the British era and how Third question is how the Suez Canal affected India. See, we discussed on muslin that was the Malman cloth which we spoke about. Now, the traditional handicraft decline in India was because there was a discriminatory policy. So, there was a tariff policy which was being levied, okay, which made the goods expensive. The other thing was there was development of railways, okay. There was competition with machine made products. And there was disappearance of princely courts. See, what happened was here that because of the tariffs and everything introduced, the raw materials also became costly if they were available in India. So, the handicraft industry had to sell the goods at higher price, which led to reduction in the demand for the goods. Then there was a competition of machine made products because the British used to pass on the goods which they produce so that we can so that they can be sold in the Indian market. Now, because of the development of railways, although the transport of goods became easier, but then the reach of these machine products became more faster. Now, princely courts were generally the people, the prince or the kingdoms or the kings were the main buyers of handicraft goods in India as such. Okay, the disappearance of those led to a decline in the demand okay and because of the tariff policies we have not much could be exported how suez canal affected india see it reduced the cost of production you remember the red and the green line we discussed it became easy to access the indian market and again the reduction in the transport cost and the time of transportation both affected in a positive manner when it comes to Suez Canal. 